Hey everybody, welcome back to another episode of Tech World 2. Just kind of checking in on my mining turtle setup here. Um, ooh, diamonds. Yay, got more diamonds. That's pretty awesome. Uh, did he leave anything inside of his inventory? No, he did not. That's good. Let's, uh, let's see, we got some cobblestone here, so let's kind of plop that down a little bit so that we can break him and not lose him. Um, we got, yeah, we got inventory space. Good. So let's pick him up. Okay. And let's see what we want to get out of here. Uh, gold, yes, definitely. Diamonds, redstone, silver, iron. Don't need the indium yet. Uh, pitch blend, don't care. Flint is always good. We can do some stuff with that. Uh, the rest of this I think we'll leave down here for now. Um, just because it's uh, it takes up a lot of space in inventory and it's kind of hard to maneuver around. But um, I've been busy. I've been doing lots of things. Doing all of the things. So let's go upstairs uh, and take a look around and see what we have done. We have done all of the good things. Um, there used to be a chest here. It's not there anymore. There used to be chests there. They're not there anymore. Where are they, you might ask? Aha, I will tell you. They are in here. Now, this is not perfect yet. As you can see, it's flickering in and out. Uh, but this is my ME storage system. We've got the ME access terminal, ME controller, ME storage drives. We have currently uh, seven ME drives, four 1K and three 4K for a total of, let's see, that would be 12 plus four is 16, 16K of storage. Inside of that 16K of storage, we have all of these things. Now, because we're running on solar panels right now, it is going to cut in and out. It is going to uh, uh, kind of glitch in and out on us a little bit. Uh, it's getting nighttime, so let's go over here and sleep real quick. Uh, hopefully we can sleep. There is a skeleton someplace there. Yeah, we can sleep. He must be underground. Oh yeah, he's underground. Um, but this will get the this will get the sun going again and the ME storage drive should kick in and we should be able to see things. We got one diamond in there. Um, but the beautiful thing here, we can, let's say we want to find out how much gold we have. We'll just type in gold and we have 71 gold ingots. We have three gold plates and we have uh, a couple of gold nuggets. Um, how much redstone do we have? Well, let's see. Redstone. 25 redstone brick or blocks. 467 pieces of redstone. Add 35. Plus a redstone torch. Okay. If we want to drop things in, we just kind of drop them in like so. And they just kind of get added to our inventory. But it has to be powered on for that to work. Okay. Uh, aluminum ore, we'll stick that in there. Good deal. Um, so we have lots and lots of stuff, lots and lots of stuff available to us. So that's one cool thing that we've done. We've also taken all of our uh, industrial craft equipment down off of the roof. Um, we're thinking about doing something a little bit different out there. I had to cut myself a little access panel back here in the back of the, uh, the El Paliso uh, because we're doing some work out here. Um, we've got ourselves an MFE. Notice that the MFE builds up to about 500 EU and then discharges because it's try that's why that's where the power is coming from to power the uh, the ME storage unit. Okay. Another thing that we've done though is we've started developing these glass fiber cables. These are expensive to build. Uh, glass fiber cables require all of the good resources. That was why this is why I was so excited about um, about finding diamonds because in order to build one of these you have to have one or two energium dust one silver dust and three pieces of glass energium dust is four diamonds and five redstone now you get nine energium dust out of that so that's enough to build four cables um, but still, they are expensive. Uh, but they are they are essentially lossless. You don't lose with regular copper cable. 
Um, you lose one EU for every five blocks that it travels. Um, with the glass fiber cable, you it'll essentially hold or tra or store not store but uh, transmit 8,192 EU per tick, essentially making it lossless. Um, uh, but these cables are going over here and feeding off of. Uh, something else that I've decided that I'm going to work on, and that is a water mill. The water mill, and this is not perfect yet because I do still have copper cable on the inside of the water mill, but a water mill is a uh, is almost the same as a solar panel. It gives you two EU per tick, but the you can build this as tall as you want. Okay, you can build this as tall as you want, and it will continue to transmit power day and night. Solar panels are only good when uh, when the sun's out. And that's fine. That helps us out a lot as far as getting some power to this place. But if we want something that's going to be truly independent, truly uh, not relying on anything else, I think that the, the the water power is the way to go. Okay. So you just kind of keep stacking these up. And right now I'm three layers high. I, eventually I'll have this as tall as the castle, if not even more. Um, and we'll go from there. I've also expanded the uh, the back side of the castle a little bit because I'm thinking about um, putting in a uh, a planter. Now I think I already built this. Uh, I was I'm just coming off the weekend. I was going to record this weekend, but I actually left my headset and microphone at my office. So I couldn't do any recording, but if we come in here and we type in, whoops, planter, I do, I did build a planter. So we'll take this out, and I'll show you the crafting for it. It was pretty straightforward. Uh, whoops, not uh, nothing too uh, too fancy did we need for this uh, planter. Um, so a planter was a couple of pistons, a machine frame redstone reception coil, a couple of pieces of copper, some plastic sheets, um, the, pl the flower pot, you get that from, from bricks, the plastic sheets, you get that from raw plastic, you get raw plastic from smelting down uh, rubber, okay, and then the rest of this stuff you've seen me build with the exception of maybe a piston, pistons are, are vanilla Minecraft, so just three pieces of wood, four pieces of cobble, a piece of iron, and a, a piece of redstone to power it, okay. But this is a planter. Now, a planter needs power. What, 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 what? I hear... I hear a pig man. He must be upstairs. Let's go see the pig man. Let's go see the pig man. Silly pig man. You can't stay here. Where are you? There you are. Hello, pig man. Now, hopefully... Well, you know what? He's peaceful. We'll leave him alone. He's peaceful. We'll leave him alone. Ooh, getting some lag here. I don't like that. Um, so, planter. We've got the planter in our inventory. It does take some power to run, um, but it will run on EU or MJ power, either one. So, what I want to do is I want to plant him right out here kind of in line with the water mill, sort of. So let's see. Let's go here and go here and here and here. And let's see if we can find the cable coming off the water mill. There it is. Excellent. Okay. Do I have cable with me? I do not. Let's go grab some cable. Ow. Darn it. Let's go grab some cable from over here. And there's copper cable right there. We only need some. So let's come out here. And we'll come down here. 
and we want to be careful about how we do this because we don't want to uh, we don't want to lose a lot of power so one two three and we're probably gonna Oh wait, no, don't do that. Okay, now we'll put the planter in here. Okay, planter. Now, planter by default will do a three by three grid. There's also uh, there's also some room in here for an upgrade, but we are, we're not going to do the upgrades right now because really there's not a whole lot that we can do with this thing with the limited amount of space that we have. But what we are going to do is we're going to use this for, uh, we're going to use this for some trees. So let's go get some saplings. Should have saplings in here. Sapling. There we go, saplings. Don't need 32 of them. We'll put some of those back. Oops. Again, has to have power in order for this to work. So we'll get the, we'll let it power back up again. There we go. Put those in there. Put those in there. Shouldn't need more than eight. Okay. Actually, we probably could have put a bunch in there. I guess we could have put all of them in there. Um, so we want it to plant saplings in any space that it has available. All right. So then we'll put the we'll put that in there and let's back up and see what it do. It should plant those. I think I hope I don't know. Okay, and we'll put some torches down outside of the 3x3. Actually, let's do let's put one there. Oh, no, don't get all click happy there, Ricky. All right, and we got one there, and we'll put one there, and we'll put one there. Okay. Now, okay, I think, I don't know, I think it's going to work. Uh, work, zero of one, idle. It's got enough energy. Mm -hmm. Okay, well, we'll just leave it be. Maybe it'll pick up. Maybe it won't. It's getting to be night, so we're gonna... I hear the zombie pig man again. Hmm. We'll just go to sleep real quick. And then the next thing that we're going to want to build to go along with this planter is we're going to want a harvester. Um, the harvester, uh, nope, we don't want to be in there just yet because we don't know what we need yet. The harvester, whatever comes up out of the ground, the harvester will, will collect. So here's our harvester, and that is also plastic sheets, shears, machine, uh, machine frame, reception coil, invar axe. So we need to build an invar axe, uh, which I think I have some pieces of invar. Uh, invar. I do. Whoops, I just bumped my microphone. Okay, so we've got invar. Uh, sticks. Do I have sticks? I have one stick. Okay, do I have wood? Uh, oak. I have oak. Good. Let's take some of those. We'll build some sticks. Alright. So come on down here. Oops. Sticks. Like that. Invar axe. Perfect. Okay, next we need to build the machine frame. Uh, machine frame is gold, iron, and glass. So let's get all... Oh wait, it is gold, isn't it? Yes, gold. Okay. 
So let's get some gold. And we only need, whoops, only need one piece of gold. And then we need iron. Uh-huh. Okay. And we also need glass. Glass there, nope, 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 nope. Glass there, 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 and there. Gold there, iron there. Machine frame. We need a redstone reception coil. That's another piece of gold and a couple of pieces of redstone. So, gold. And then redstone. couple of pairs of shears. Where's he at? Is he still upstairs? I think he's still upstairs. Okay, so we need a couple of pairs of shears. That's iron again. Plastic sheets. Do I have plastic? I have two. How many did I need? Two. Perfect. So now I just need a couple of gold ingots, which I should have grabbed those in the first place. Gold. Uh, I think I needed two. Okay. Come down here. Check on that. Yep. And we should be able to craft this now. Nope. What are we missing? Uh, machine frame, gold ingots, two plastic sheets. We should have all that. Okay. One, two. Oops. No, nope, those go down here. This goes here. Those go there. And that goes there. There it is. Harvester. Okay. Okay, let's go outside and see if there's anything planted yet, which we'll see. No, there is not anything planted. Why is there nothing planted here, I wonder? Hmm. Hmm. Alright, let's try something. Come back here, whoops, back here, right there. Okay. And let's try to break that, whoops, we're going to want that back. So let's try to break that. got energy, but it doesn't have any work. Why does it not have any work? Hmm. Interesting. That is very interesting how it's not doing what we want it to do. Very, very interesting. Ouch. Darn it. Um. Hmm.
that's not what we wanted. In order to take that apart, we need a crescent hammer. Hmm. Not sure why that's not working. But first... Crescent hammer. Okay. This needs to face the other way. The teeth go towards the trees. There we go. Okay, so now it's facing the right way. And it has power. It's powering up. Shear leaves? Uh, no, we don't want to shear leaves because we want to get saplings out of it. So, hmm. Hmm. All right, I'll tell you what, let me pause real quick and let me get the tutorial going on this and, uh, and I'll be right back. Hang tight. Aha! I've done it. I have made something. Uh, apparently the, the planter has to be one block down from where, uh, from where your planting is, is uh, taking place. And the tutorial also recommended that you have some water here. So we're going to go ahead and let that grow. Uh, we're going to grab a chest and stick it back here because what's going to happen is when, this, when these trees are full grown, the harvester is going to cut them down. And whatever cut, cuts down, it's going to spit out the back. So let's go get a chest real quick. And uh, we'll put that chest back there so that we at least don't lose anything. There we go. One chest coming right up. Thank you very much. Ah. Got to figure out how to make this thing have more power. More power would be very, very beneficial to us. And the sun's going down, so it's going to take a while. So we'll just, we'll just do this. Um, and the chest is right here. Perfect. Now whatever this spits out, we'll be able to check in here and we'll be able to get that. Okay. Um, so looking here now, we've got the water, we've got the water mill going, so we should have power to we should well, we're gonna be getting more and more power. We got the tree farm moved to a different spot. We've got solar panels going, that's a good thing. Okay, and uh, and then the other thing that we that we have going is uh, what else did we have going? Uh, we had some stuff smelting down back here earlier. Nope, that's all stopped. Are we out of power there? Nope, we're not out of power. Aha, it's just stuck. Sometimes it'll spit out some extra stuff there, and it just doesn't know how to deal with it. So we'll just do that. Oh, that's out of power though. Do we have coal or charcoal even? Yeah, we can't really check right now. Um, all right, so let's see here. That's gonna. I'll tell you what. I think that's gonna about do it for this episode. Uh, it's gonna be a while before those trees grow. Um, so I hope that you have enjoyed. Well, I'll tell you what we'll do. While while we're thinking of it, let's get. Let's make this go away and this go away right here. And what we will what we will end, what we'll do is we will build this up a little bit and we'll put torches down so that it can actually be beneficial to us. Um, let's see here. We'll put some dirt down. And I noticed that one of my sap oops, I noticed that one of my saplings is missing. So that being the case, we may have already chopped down our first tree. Maybe. We'll see. Let's put that there. Ow. We may have chopped down our first tree already. Put that there, put that there. Let's go check this chest. We did. We chopped down our first tree. That is outstanding. So now we can turn all this into charcoal. Um, 
we'll probably next episode we'll build ourselves a little uh, uh, a little pump slash duct system, and uh, and take that charcoal over to the over to the furnace over there and uh, and get it making charcoal for us regularly so that's going to do it for this episode everybody i hope that you have enjoyed it if you did please leave a like um and tell all your friends that uh, that right wing rb is here to teach them all of their things that they want or that they ever wanted to know about minecraft oh there it goes look at that ha we built ourselves a tree and we chopped it right down that is outstanding i love it so now we should have more stuff in here yes we do uh, so <laughs> that couldn't have happened at a more in a, at a more opportune time. So again, right wing RB, thank you guys so much for watching, and until next time, we will see you later on. Bye bye.